Hello guys. Happy Sunday. We're getting I'm getting ready to cook for you guys. I told you I was gonna make your cherry pie and I am. First things first. We have got a bland bait, the bottom of the uh, pack pack crust. So I'm using a Pillsbury berry already made crust. I'm gonna take it out the pack and unroll it. This is called blind bacon. Just for a few minutes. Okay. There we go. Then I'm just gonna lay it flat over the edges. That's all. Make sure it stays there. Okay. There we go. And then we're gonna dock it. That means putting a few holes at the bottom so it won't puff up on us. Okay. And these are my pie weights. I've got dried chickpeas and pinto beans in here. I'm going to pour those inside of here. Then it ensures that it doesn't, the dough doesn't puff up while this blind bacon. There we go. In the meantime, in between time, press down on the edges and cut off the edges. I got the other set to 400, so they're going to bake for like 15 minutes. There we go. Meantime, we're going to get our roast ready, and I'm going to brown it off on top of the stove. And this goes into the oven to blind bake. Go. Now, put these back up here out the way. Some stuff, bacon stuff. Okay. okay. Now we're going to deal with our roast. We're ready to cook. I just got a small, it's an English roast. this part out. Grab my paper towels. Wipe it clean. It's not a lot of fat, but it's a little marvelous, so that's a good thing. Everybody knows what Worcestershire sauce is. Okay. So that on there. And this is another little thing I do when I cook roast. I put just a little pepper sauce on there. 
It gives the meat a really good flavor. Not a lot, but this stuff is hot. You just want to season it a little bit with that. And now, we'll put in some put in a little salt. You won't be using Denny Lou's seasoning today. Put in season it. Some black pepper. Let's let it sit in a minute. To me, uh, really, really seasoned beef with a little pepper sauce. A little crazy. Salt. Sit there a minute. So I'll turn on the skillet and get some extra virgin olive oil in it. Oh, dog. We got to cut up some veggies. There we are. I'm going to ground it off. There we go. to the side, grab my cutting board, I forgot about this, we're going to add this, the lady from New York sent me this seasoning, I ordered some spices from her, and she sent me a sample pack of seasonings, and I love this particular one, so we're going to add a little bit of that on there. Just a bit. That's really got good flavor. Perfect seasoning. I don't want to come out that way. Oh, I've got a fly in here now. Something always bugging me when I'm trying to cook for you guys. There we go. Just a bit of this. It's all you need. That's a bit. It's really good. Put some on that other side. It's still stirring about coming out, I'll tell you that. 
Okay, there we go. Starting to really season this meat. Okay, let me show it to you again because I know some of you might not have got it. Closed up. Let you see it well. See? Okay, now I set this to the side. Some onion to go around the roast. No. You gotta have onion for everything. You know that. You gotta put onion on everything. Let's cut some rounds. I got some uh, yellow squash and zucchini. We're going to cook that together. And I took out that macaroni and cheese we made. I put it in the freezer. I took that out. You might as well cook that too. Okay. Of course, uh, garlic. But my, my, um, Get some flour out. Get a little flour. Put on. Let's see what I'm doing here. See, I'm just gonna add a little flour to the meat and brown it off. Sides over there and everything. See? Then we're going to brown it off. And then we'll have a nice little. There we go. Let's see? Turn it all the way down. There we go. Let that boil on both sides. And then I'm cutting up my veggies, as you can see.
get my four cotton here, so I can turn them on rolls. As you get to brown, don't take it long. Nope, that's not ready. And see, so you gotta wait till it's all the way brown, or that you'll just mess it up. Okay, cut the thin slices of garlic. So I'm going to mix it a little bit. That's plenty. All righty. Hmm? The garlic's strong. The garlic and onion. Okay, I'm going to get a little parsley to put on there as well. So when it comes out, wash it a little bit. Okay, mommy almost ready to put the roast on and boil it. He in here checking because uh, he, he smells that roast. Coming in here checking on what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, sir. There we go. Some of the flour stuck because I tried to turn it too fast. There we go. Take our pack crust out. And then I'm going to pour that, that grease off of there. Okay. And we're ready to run. I also have the uh, almond and strength. Almond and cherries go together so well. So what I do is I grate up some almond bark to put on top of my cherries. Got my cherries for my cherry pie. And man, it's a good. That's my secret ingredient. Um, I'm gonna let this go and get brown. <laughs> I said the same. <laughs> the roast get brown. Uh -huh. Okay. This board. Get it on. Excuse me while I wash my bowl. Oh, and by then, that should be 
ground enough so we can get this. Boy, I'm going to get you kick that fly. Okay, get that cleaned out well so we can do our cherry mix. And let me get my crust out. Cleaned out. There we go. Oh, and guys, listen. I can't, but I gotta see you when I say this. Because you guys have been outstanding. Yes, you have. You have been outstanding. I mean, well, when God gets to work, He really gets to work. I can tell you that. Okay. Put this over here and get my dish towel put over here and bring it off. Okay. And get rid of it. Get rid of this grease. See all that grease in there? I gotta go. Oh, I got it now, y'all. I sure did. I got that black. Sir, you too bad. So we can, you see it? We can get these veggies and stuff under here and get going. Oh boy, I'm not gonna worry about it. Just get the veggies under here. I don't know about you, but I like a lot of onion. And get the garlic under there, season it. Okay. Put some parsley. There we go. Should have getting on my nerve. I thought I had it rolled up well. I see it. Obviously, I didn't. Here we go again. Put all this on top. Now the skillet being hot, you can smell the aromatics. Boy, do they smell good. Oh. Okay. Alright. Put that on top. Here we go, I'm put a little hot water in it. Okay. And grab a let it cook and we'll go drown us. And I'm gonna add the rest of the juice for me seasoning it in there. There we go. And I'm going to grab my crust out of here. Oh, yeah, we ready. All right. And I'm going to turn it down to 350. There we go. And put it in there. Then, oh, I need a top. I'm put a bit of a top on it. 
There we go. There we go. In the oven we go. There we are. Roast cooking. Now. There we go. Gotta get my pie weights out. And of course, what I did wrong with that, I was supposed to put a piece of parchment first, and then pour the pie weights out. But that's all right. What we'll do is take him or her and dry out the bowl and just pour them in here. Mm -hmm. I'm going too fast. I'm moving too quick for my own good. There we go. Right that out real good. Then put that in there. Get this towel, because it's glass, it'll burn the mess out you mess up. Triple it over. <laughs> I sure did that wrong. Oh. And now we need to get them out of there. Scoop them out. That's all right. Cutting them right out. No problem. But it'd be a lot easier to put the parchment paper in here first. But we're not having any problem now. Alright, we got it. I'm going to sit this over here. And grab, it's got a cool, uh oh, of course some of it came off, that's too bad. You gotta grab a rack, and let it, to let it cool, here's one. There we go. Get my rack so it can sit here and cool while we do the filling. See? See? I got it on the rack. Out the way. You can see the pie crust. And then just sit here. I'm glad I got my door open. Let it cool while we do the, the filling. Here we go. All right, now those have to clean as well. Put them in a bowl. Put a bowl. Mm -hmm. In another bowl, but we need this. Put our filling in. Do that. Over. Okay. And put that back up here. This out of the way. Put this up. First thing we want to do is break some almond bark. Put this 
There's not a whole lot of ingredients that goes in the cherry pie. It's a very simple pie to make. And I use canned cherries. Where I go through the hassle. Okay. Just making sure we have everything up here we need. And we do. So let's go. Oh, well, we'll worry about that later. I have my, my almond extract. It's a really good brand. A can of cherries. And let's do our almond bark. Grab a bowl for that. Okay. Grape some almond bark right quick. Pieces came off. We use those too. Let's see. Grated. Now this up now do need a new grater. I had this one. I don't know how long. But it's time for a new one. This block, it's a two ounce block. I don't need it all because, of course, I'm going to add some regular sugar. So, oh well. 
That's why it pays to keep your callus clean. I want every bit of it off of there. There we go. Wait for the rest. So now we mix up our stuff. So get our chairs off it. Put a little regular sugar. Yeah, a little regular sugar. Don't need a lot because we got that almond bark and a pinch of salt. Almond extract. Cause it don't want to act right. Get my towel over here. You smell that roast, don't you? Huh? <laughs> take over the flavor of the cherries and almond will is very strong. Let's stir that up. I kind of fold it right so I don't want to break up my cherries. And basically, that's it for the filling. Except I put butter on top. It's real easy. Oh, and that almond smells so good. You smell the almond and the cherries together. Wow. There we go. Make sure you fold it in, or you'll just break your cherries. And all the white specks, they'll be gone because the almond bark is going to melt as it bakes. So, let's move all this stuff. And get our top crust. First, get the bottom. It's cooled enough. Okay. 
go. Put that filling in there. You could take this and make fried pies with it. Make a cherry tart. Whatever you want to do. Okay. There we go. Excuse me. And now let's get our top crust. Tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Get my hot top crust out of here. Mm. I use the Pillsbury crust because it's the best. Now, if you like making one, I go to Pillsbury. Okay, we're going to cut some butter and put it up here. Mmm, that's good. And always use extract. Don't go by like vanilla flavor or almond flavor or whatever kind of flavor. Don't get flavor, get the extracts. I can't stand anything artificial. That mess up the whole thing. Okay. Some pads of butter. And some pie. Mmm. It's supposed to have calories and to be sweet and buttery. <laughs> okay. And when the roast is just about done. I'll be back to cook our squash and warm up our mac and cheese. But that's gonna be a while. So, okay, we got our butter on there. Of course, I'm gonna put softened butter on top of the crust and some sugar. See what I'm doing. Let's go through and pinch it all the way around. And what's the man? to tell the people where they can and can't go. It's the easiest way to correct it. There are some other ways, of course. Some people do it like this, you know. But I like the, this way. It's a lot easier to uh, 
he had quit and get through with. And what I wanted to say is God should do work. And when he goes to work, he really goes to work. Because he really went to work on you guys. Thank you all, every last one of you, for being so generous. I just really appreciate you. I really want you to know that. You made me feel on top of the world like a real queen. You really did. I don't know if you're coming in there. And, and the comment about the hundred daughters I have. Lord have mercy. That just really. <laughs> and the sons too. So many of you stepped up. All of you did. Really. I'm so proud of you guys. I really am. And I'm sure your parents are too. For the kind of people that they raised. The adults. People they raised. Look at you. You should be patting yourselves on the back. And being very proud of yourselves. Thank you all so very much. Hammy and I thank you. I love you all. Yes, I do. And don't worry, I'm going to be just fine. I am just fine. After that, what can happen? <laughs> but you sent a person. Uh, you uplifted me so high. Thank you all very much. Wow. I, I, I mean... You made me feel like I've never felt before in my life. Thank you all so much. I wore my pinstripe top to dress up to tell you guys that I wanted to really look my best. Thank you so much. You guys mean the world to me. I've been bragging and telling everybody about you. I love you guys so much for that. There won't be a tear in my eye behind being hurt. Probably never after what you guys have done. There'll be happy tears. You did a lot for me. Of course, you know, oh, and listen, I got a, a new great granddaughter, and her name is Italy. And she's gorgeous. She sure is. So, look at all the blessings. <laughs> I got to go teach her how to cook. <laughs> now, my, my granddaughter uh, that had her, I was keeping her when she was like two years old. And honey, don't think I didn't have her at the table with an apron on, teaching her how to season chicken. And she picked it up right away, too. Every time I went in the kitchen, she was right behind me. And she cooks right now. Sure does. That's why I think all my granddaughters cook. I know uh, the ones in Lawrenceville does. Yeah, and, and my uh, biological granddaughter, she cooks. She sent me a picture today from Africa with uh, her bow and his family are very prestigious looking beautiful people and she fits right in so I'm not going to lie at first I was kind of worried you know how grandmothers are but that's gone now that I've seen them all that is gone oh um, She's having a good time. But of course, I can't wait to have her back. Oh, that's all right. I'm so happy my son and I have replenished our relationship. 
I had him in my arms yesterday. I'm so happy about that. I'm so proud of him. He's my hero. He's my hero. You guys are my hero and heroes. See, when God comes, boy, he hits hard. I'm telling you, I'm so, so happy. I don't think I've ever been this happy in my whole life. Not that I could remember. And I've had some good, good days. Wow. When you guys came in like a tornado or a hurt a tornado and a hurricane put together. That's how you guys came in on me. That's a good thing. Okay. Now I have the the butter all over the patties dough. Softened butter. See how it, it's gonna be so buttery. Okay, and now I'm gonna just sprinkle some sugar on top. That helps it brown. You could whip up an egg yolk with a little milk or cream or whatever and brush that on and then do it. And it would get really brown, but this is bad for me. Okay. Now, wipe my hands again. And here goes the sugar. Get that in the oven. Just put it on very generously. You know, don't worry about the edges. Let's get it in here. And of course, you know, there we go. That's all she wrote. And you know, you got to put a, a bin in here, a little circle in the middle. Twist it, twist it. And then put a few slits so it can vent and don't blow up on you. And there we are. I'm high ready for the oven. I'll turn the oven down to 350. There we go. Ready for the oven, guys, and here we go. Right, now, put this in for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, so, yeah, and there we are. And we'll let that go 45 minutes to an hour. Wait till it comes out. And I'm I'm gonna let you guys go for now. And once our, our roast gets tender, I'll take the top off and let it brown while we're cooking our yellow squash and zucchini. And warming up our mac and cheese. I'll see you guys back then. Thank you for watching. I love you for watching. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.